or your little sister who has big daddy, giant, huge, hulking monsters coming with you, this is your love, and you do, and you want to love and embody. For attendees, the con is a yearly gathering of awesomeness. It's the way and the place to be. For cosplayers, the con is a way to find other people and to also showcase their crafting talents as well. <laughs> if, you're, if you can be able to interact with a cosplayer, more nuanced and genuine interactions happen when you know those characters. And current designs really end up having a mechanistic way of bringing people together, or they end up changing the interactions. So for example, on the right, that's a new type of camera that's in the shape of a gun. If brought to a con, you might actually have cosplayers who might try to fight you if you're trying to take a picture of them. <laughs> so the real opportunity for design that I've found relies in this photo opportunity that where you can ask a cosplayer or a group to be able to pose, and, they'll, and they will wholeheartedly welcome it. So my thoughts were, when you find somebody at the con, let's say they're carrying this giant site, and like, that's amazing. And you go up to them and say, can I have a picture? and they say yes, take a snapshot of them, and it reveals who their character's name is. So you can be able to at least have a basis of to genuinely start a conversation. My paper prototype is interaction with the camera, so people can be able to line up their shot, take a picture, find out about this character, and through their photo reel, and also learn a little bit about the personal side of the cosplayer, of why they chose to be this character. So this information would end up being shown and just read through a RFID badge that the cosplayers would wear, and they could put it anywhere on their bodies. So for example, you can put it directly on your body here, or you can put it as part of your costume on the side, so that way it doesn't get in the way. So I'm going to take you through this design from our con attendee here, Greg, who likes to go with, with his buttons. So he ends up meeting this interesting cosplayer, and he's like, I want to be able to take a picture of you because this is so totally awesome and beautiful. So he lines up his shot, and all of the times where he taps are indicated by the pink. So he presses the camera, snaps, and he finds out this cosplayer's character's name is Esther. It's like, <coughs> Esther, can you go take a look about her? So he ends up investigating and finds out that she's actually a nun who can actually kill vampires with machine guns. <laughs> Since he found that that was so awesome, he's like, I'm going to leave something for her. <laughs> so he just readily taps, types out his message, sends it to her. <coughs> when he goes to the artist alley to be able to find uh, art that he likes, he also runs into this bad dude. <laughs> and he's like, that's a total name, I love that jacket. Can I have a picture? So this dude said, okay, that's awesome. So he still lines up his shop, presses it, finds out this dude's name is Wesker. He's like, Wesker, hmm. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to run because there's a cool panel on Halo right now, but I'll be back. So he and his buddies are done with the panel, and his buddy says, hey, can you bring up those pictures again? I want to see a little bit more about Wesker. So he just pops up his, his app, brings it up, and takes a look again at the information there, and finds out this, this Wesker is actually from Resident Evil, a game that his buddy has played before, but has not seen this character design. So he's like, anybody else? Have you seen anybody else? Are there any other cool characters you found? Greg's like, I don't know. Well, let's go check. I found this really cool cosplayer. His name is Esther. Maybe there's other people like Esther here. So he taps on the name of the anime that she's from, he finds out that there's at least another person there registered to go to the con who's from this anime, but he hasn't taken a picture of him yet. At least he knows where to go, how, what to look for, to be able to find this cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, cosplay also happens for many groups, and it's important to be able to handle groups as well when you take a picture. So the interaction still stays the same for Greg, takes a picture and shows the names of everyone from left to right, information about the group, these are countries, and when he brings up the photo reel, it identifies each individual character, 
So if he likes the red coat, he can be able to tap and interact in the same way that he had <coughs> before with that individual picture. So I wanted to be able to really test the waters with this idea. So I led paper prototyping evaluation sessions where I had people line up their shot and learn about a couple characters. There are a lot of pieces. <laughs> And what I ended up finding is that people who had no idea about these characters actually had a really fun time interacting with this camera. And they told me they would feel a little bit more comfortable trying to talk to this stranger. I also wanted to get this perspective from real cosplayers. So I, had, I called them up again. I had them <coughs> think about what they were going to be doing. And I had created an interactive click through of this design for them so they could be able to interact as if they were at a con. And I wanted to see how musical and how social it came from them. Here's what happened to that. They really liked how it was quick to pick up and they could even use it directly at a con. <laughs> Done. Sometimes when they expected different things to happen, they quickly overlooked it and they immediately gave ideas how to improve it. They were so touched by this experience that usability issues didn't pull them out. And also it helped the photographer to really see the personal side of that character and that person. But ultimately, what I found is that it was a convenient conversation starter to break the ice between the stranger and it gave them confidence and to celebrate the cosplayer's achievements. To be able to make this work at a con, this can still be part of the package that you get when you register. So when you get your con book, you get your con badge, you still wear it like you do normally. In here, the information comes from, what you see on the display, will actually come from the forums. Cosplayers already naturally read their information about who they're going to cosplay as and who they're, if they're looking for other people on the forum, and this can be able to pull from there. From a feasibility standpoint, RFID and, and at least the iPhone have started to already been designed for. Here, R2-D2 and other RFID-enabled toys can be able to play media after you swipe one of them. And soon you'll also be able to order your concert tickets by a simple swipe of your phone. The value of this system <laughs> comes from being able to interact with new people and to also have a way to conveniently break the ice. And you'll also be exposed to new types of experiences that you might go home from the con with and be able to say, I'm going to go watch that. I'm going to go buy that game right now. For the con, this can help to really draw more people there because there's, a, there's an interactive way to be able to pull everyone together to really share the love and appreciation for games, books, anime, video games, etc., etc. Now, if this were to be in Japan, this type of situation happens where cosplayers get overwhelmed. So to be able to handle this type of situation, I'd have to go back to the drawing board a little bit to organize a better way to have many photographers but at least in the US, when there are meetups and such, uh, photographers will be able to, actually they actually line up and they patiently wait for all of the customers to post. So, last words from me. This was an experience I treasured. I was able to get back in touch with friends, learn how to sew, and also to become more engaged with the anime and games that I love. In the future, I'd like to actually develop and create this for real cons and be able to pitch it.